Hey there ladies and gentlemen! In this lesson, we're going to look at ecological niches. Primarily, what is it? Ecological niches, according to Dictionary.com, a really great website, is the entirety of environmental factors that tend to suit and allow an animal or plant species to survive in its habitat. The microhabitat in which a particular population lives and the way it exploits its, its space. So, a lot of people confuse ecological niches and habitat, but really an ecological niche contains the habitat, diet, and activity of the animal. It's a little bit more broad. Every species in an ecosystem has its own ecological niche. This distribution maintains a balanced ecosystem. So not only does every species have its own ecological niche, but every species is part of a food chain. I'm sure this is no surprise, we all gotta eat something and keep our energy right. And a food chain describes how that energy is flowed from one organism to another. Let's take a look at an actual example. In this picture, we have a salmon getting energy by eating the krill. The tuna absorbs the energy stored by eating the salmon. And the shark then absorbs the stored energy by eating the tuna. It's a food chain. Now in any food chain, there are three types of organisms. There are the producers, we call them they're in their first place. Consumers are second and decomposers are last. But there's a little twist as we're about to find out. First of all, let's look a little deeper into producers. Producers are not called producers for no reason. Yes, they're at the bottom of the food chain, but they're producing all that energy. They use sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to produce the glucose and energy in a process called photosynthesis. Without producers, we wouldn't be alive. Now consumers, you're probably a consumer, <laughs> we're called that because we consume the energy that the producers manufactured. Consumers in a food chain are animals, they can be herbivores and carnivores. And decomposers are what we like to think of as recycling pros. They actually, we can think of the food chain as a food cycle because even scavengers become energy for producers. Fungi, monorins, protists, and other animals feed on the debris of dead bodies by breaking them down into tiny particles. And these primary substances become nitrogen, carbon, and minerals. And they're once again available for the producers. So it's interesting that even decomposers eventually get eaten by the producers. As is often repeated in Disney's The Lion King, it's all part of the great circle of life. <laughs> So that's it for today. I hope you learned a little something about ecological niches and I'll see you.